welcome to the Iroquois Lock of the uh, St. Lawrence Seaway. Hiding behind some trees here, trying to dodge out of the rain that all of a sudden come up out of the middle of nowhere. So we're at the uh, downstream side of the lock. Uh, the access bridge has just gone up. The Algoma Niagara is just behind the bushes back there. You just kind of see it over my shoulder. So the Iroquois Lock, um, it's the last lock upstream, first lock downstream. Uh, the sign, I'll throw a picture of that up here out front. Uh, just general facts on the lock. Um, the lock only has like a six inch to six foot uh, change in elevation. Uh, right now the uh, control dam, let me flip around here, we can see that. Those are the control gates to control the uh, water level up against Saunders Dam in uh, Cornwall. As you can see, all of them are open. I believe there's 30 or 32 of them there. So the lock is virtually, uh, there is no change really in water level when you, or elevation as the ships transit it. They're just going through the gates on one side and uh, slowing down and they're opening the gates on the upstream side and uh, boats are continuing to just chug through. Now vessels of all size can use the seaway locks. I'll throw a quick little clip up here. We first got here, looked like about a 34, 36 foot pleasure craft was coming up through the system. Uh, last time I looked, I think they're about $35 Canadian or US to uh, for each lock. And then you can uh, you can buy them online. I think it's just you buy online, you save five dollars per lock. But you are a secondary vessel if you're using a pleasure craft. Uh, this is a commercial waterway, so the big ship commercial ships they get right away over all the uh, pleasure traffic. Now uh, the Seaway locks, and I think the Welling Canal locks are the same way. They actually have two sets of gates at uh, each end of the lock. They have a primary and a secondary set. It's basically if one set breaks down, they can crank them open manually if need be and uh, start operating with the uh, backup set, which uh, allows the system to stay running. It runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week uh, from, I believe, mid-March to mid-December. Yeah, I can see it.